I'm Zdenka. We are on the island of Vis in Croatia. And right now we are in Villa Z, which is our family house. It's an ancient stone house, 300 years old, which we renovated two years ago. My grandma and grandfather and my dad and his brother, they lived here. Ever since I was born, I remember coming here for summer. Actually, this is the place where I learned my first steps. Since I was a very little kid, I was always thinking about how can you get best usage of every space that you have. As things developed, I understood that I really like creating spaces. As the family grew bigger and bigger, I have a sister, she has a family, I have a family and it's many of us. So when we should come here, it was not of high standard, I mean it was very very basic. The designing process took us about a year, but just because I had other things I was working on at the same time. The construction process was only four months. One month for furnishing and decoration. Less than half a year from the roof till the floor. Hello and welcome everybody to Villa Z. This is authentic stone house on the island of Vis in Croatia, in the middle of Adriatic Sea. It's 300 years old and it's our family house that we renovated two years ago. It is part of bigger complex and our part is this area here. Our entrance was on the terrace and here we had wine cellar and in this area here uh, there was a donkey and my uh, uncle who lived in this house it was his donkey and he used that wine cellar to produce wine. We decided we would make that wine cellar to a living area and so we moved the main entrance down there and transformed this outer space which was a stone courtyard to outer living space. This area is bigger than the upper terrace so it works well. Out of this donkey place we made a barbecue area where you can sit around the fire and make great barbecue. I can welcome you to the inside of the house. The layout is very simple. So you have six by six meters. It's not rectangular, it's a little bit squeezed. I tried it all different possible ideas, but in the end, the best one was the simplest one. I think it's very, very often the, that case. When you put the stairs in the right place, you get the right house. We're in the living area here, in the kitchen. It was wine cellar here, it was all black. This is the pillar that I had to make some adjustments. I had to accept it. That was the tough decision for me to keep it because I wanted to have completely free area. But if I did destroy it, I would have to destroy this, a slab and it would take us at least one more month, which we didn't have. I said, okay, let's keep it and we'll try to make it as good as possible. We discovered these beautiful old bricks, so we cleaned them and revealed them to be part of the kitchen. And this space here, it was a water tank. Of course, it was a wall here. Water would come from the terrace and it was collected here. But since now we have normal water supply, local. Uh, we don't need that anymore, so we made the bathroom. You see that hole? That was the hole where the water would come to and now we put the light inside. It was the simplest form of kitchen just to have it here on this wall. In this wardrobe there is a big water tank for solar heated water. So that's the center for all house. And this is form of renewable energy. So this is the original stone wall which we just we cleansed it and put the new mortar inside. And you can see those particular stones like 
100 years ago. The purpose of these stones was to hold the big wooden beam. That was the construction for the next floor. But now we have a concrete slab, so we didn't need it anymore. Those lights were made by one family that's working with the pottery from many generations, and they are located in northern Croatia. We had to use steel stairs because we just have concrete here, but the other slabs are wooden construction, so it had to be lightweight. So we had the local craftsman who was working with steel, and we designed those stairs. It was a very interesting part of the building because everything was furnished. They were still working on these stairs, so it was the last thing that was made in this house. <laughs> And my husband and my eldest son were working on these wooden parts of stairs, so it was handmade. <laughs> I wanted to make those stairs as open up as possible because we have no windows on this side of wall in the living area. So we just wanted to have some air and light go through. First floor, this is the area where it used to be just a kitchen, a small room of my uncle and here, here, it was a very, very, very tiny, tiny bathroom. The only bathroom in the house. <laughs> but here, we, <laughs> you can see the view. This is the, the bathroom with the view. And the upper one also. We want, we, I wanted to make it as white and bright as possible. All houses, white and bright, except for the stairs, which are black and steel. So that makes a good contrast. This was the part of the house where it was my uncle's room. He used to watch TVs all day. When would, he would come uh, from the, his vineyard, he would lay down. It, his, uh, his bed was here and he had a TV there. I re and I remember it used to be a black and white TV. And he used to take sunglasses. And I would ask him, why do you watch TV with sunglasses? He said, now I have it in color. <laughs> so this is the room which has direct access to the upper terrace before it was a main entrance. In summertime, you can sit here. As you can see, we have a little square in here, which is quite nice because there is no much houses around us. But there are other terraces which are quite close. So when you use it in this way, when you sit here and you don't see other people there. You can just have your own piece of freedom. <laughs> because of this, is, everything is under conservation, uh, we had an issue where to put the outside air condition boxes. So we put them behind those grills. You can see this. It's like the walls are never the same thickness. It, the wall is thicker here and then becomes less thick in this area. We needed this big wardrobe for um, all the pillows and everything, you know, but it's something you need in every rental house. Uh, and this is bonus extra place, uh, which you will see right now when I when you go to the attic. And construction of these stairs was quite interesting. <laughs> so we are in the attic area, which is just my height. And this room also has a sea view. These windows are specifically designed so you can stand here and enjoy the view. I like it. I like being here. I enjoy coming here with our friends and family. Whenever you redesign the authentic old building, you will always encounter challenges and unexpected situations. You don't know what is inside of the walls, what is under the layers. So then you have to decide what you will do with it. You should think and consider what do you have at hand, what tools do you have, what tools do you know how to use and then decide how will you work on your house or renovation or whatever. The way you deal with that reflects on your expenses and the time needed. 
just respect what you have and make it be your starting point. Don't try to make it more beautiful than it is because it is beautiful already and just take what you have and show it and then everything else will follow. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Villa Z in Biz Croatia. This is the final episode of season eight of Alternative Living Spaces, but fear not, we are working very hard to film season nine, and it will be ready to be posted before you know it. In the meantime, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode. And if you haven't already seen all of the episodes of Alternative Living Spaces, click here and start from the beginning. If you really love what we create and value the videos and want to help us create more quality videos for you, support us on Patreon and you'll get more access to us individually. Big love. See you soon.